Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to transfer Microsoft Forms ownership. Okay friends, uh, so now we are on our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. First of all, I will go to Home. I will click over here. I will now I will go to Deleted Users. So under deleted users, we have one user Frederick. This user left our organization, but he was having one form which we need now. So first let's try to get the access to the form which Frederick was having. So for that, there is the URL and to access the form of another user, only global admin has the right to access. So we'll go to the new tab and let me paste the URL first. And this is the URL to access that form and after equals to we have to enter the UPN of user whose account is deleted. So I will type Frederick username. Okay, after entering the UPN of Frederick, now I will press enter. And here you can see the message. These forms belong to Frederick and will be deleted on this date which means we only get an option to move this form within the 30 days time frame after that you won't be able to move the form or take the access or transfer the ownership so now what i want there is a person in my organization let go to microsoft 365 admin let me go to home and let me open the active users say for example a company has hired a new user with the name of Andre and I want Andre to be owner of this form. But if I'll go to Microsoft forms and if I will click on these three dots and if I'll click on move, it's giving us an option choose the destination. So we, I can transfer the ownership to myself. So this account has the global admin rights and here there are a few groups which are listed. So I can transfer the ownership to these groups. But now the thing is Andre is not part of these following groups. Now we'll again go back to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I will click on Navigation menu. I will open Teams and Groups. And now I will click on Active Teams and Groups. Here I will add a group and I will make a member entry and myself of that group. And I will transfer the ownership to that particular group. Later what I will do once the ownership is transferred, I will leave that group and ownership will be given to entry. So that's how we can do that. So I will click on add a group. I will go with the Microsoft 365 group. I will click on next. Here I will give the name to the group. So here I will type entry. If you want, you can enter the description. I will click on next. I will assign the owners. Let, let's make entry and myself owner. Okay. I will click on next. Now I will add a members. So I will make entry and myself again a member of this group. Perfect. So both the members are added. Now I will click on next. You can assign the group email address over here. Entry form. Okay. After giving the group email address now in the privacy, I will create a private group. I don't want to assign any role to this specific group. And now I will click on next. You can review and finish adding up the group. You can see all the description of the group here. Now I will click on create group. So it's adding our group. Okay, so now our new group is created. I will click on close. Perfect. Now I will go back to Microsoft Forms. I will refresh the page once. And now I will try to move this particular form. And you can see now our group is listed with the name of entry. I will select this group and now I will click on move. So now our form is getting moved to that specific group. And you can see now there is no form listed under Frederick. If you refresh the page, you will not see any form listed over here. Now we'll close this tab. I will go to Microsoft Office Home. And now if I click on App Launcher and if I'll go to my form, that form will be listed under my Microsoft form. 
you can see this account has the global admin rights and you can see the form is now over here and in another browser i have logged in using the credentials of entry this is the in private window and i have logged in using the credentials of entry i will close this now i will open ms forms in new tab this is my group and it is showing total one forms if i'll open this you can see the form is now under Andre's forms. So let me try to access this form. You can see Andre has access to this form now. Okay, so now I want this particular form to be handled by Andre. I don't want this particular form to be listed under, under my Microsoft forms. So I will go back. You can see this is my global admin account. And you can see as of now the form is here. I will go to active groups. And you can see this is the group which we have created. I will open this. Now I will remove myself from this group. I will go to members. I will remove myself as a owner. In the members list, I will also remove myself as a member of this group. You can see now the owner and member is entry of this specific group. I will close this. I will refresh the page once. So friends, after removing myself from the group with entry, you can see this is my global admin account. So now I will click on this app launcher and now I will go to my forms and let's see whether still I have the access to that form or not. You can see the form is still listed under my Microsoft forms, but it, let me try to access this and we'll check whether we are getting the option to access or not. So you can see, sorry, something went wrong. Please make sure you have a permission to access this form which means just because I have removed myself from that group, now the complete ownership of that form is with Andre and I won't be able to access that form anymore. So friends, that's how we can create a group and we can add a person whom we want to transfer the ownership and later global admin can remove himself from that group and the ownership will be completely given to the person who is still a part of that group. So friends, that's how we can transfer the ownership of MS forms. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.